everybody? It's Mia Amor back at it with another segment of Shiro's. And my next guest, her name is Constance Carter. She's a CEO. She's an investor, a speaker, a wealth guru, a transformational coach, and a best-selling author. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, my gosh. Welcome. Thank you for having me here, lady. <laughs> my Thank fellow you. East Sider from San Jose. Yes, ma'am. That's right. <laughs> We're both uh, from the East Side of San Jose. Yep. And uh, this is so awesome. My friend Chandra Brooks, who was my first guest on Shout Shiro's. Shout out to Chandra. Yep. She actually Love referred Chandra. me to you when she was like, you got to interview who she's just a dope person. She's dope. Yeah. So I was like, this is perfect. So I'm really glad you're here. Glad to be here. You have Thank so many you. titles. I do. <laughs> Tell us and everyone, our listeners, your story. How did you start? How did you Ooh. become a CEO, Ooh. like an investor? Where did it all begin? Because I know you've been doing this for a little while. Yeah, I've been doing it for about 17, 18 years. Nice. Uh, I'm, you know what? I was, I'm was. i from San Jose, like yeah. you said, and uh, was in the IT industry. We decided, my husband mm-hmm. and I, we, we 23, we got married, bought our house, yeah. and then had a baby. No, I got married first, had the baby, then bought a house. And uh, I was in IT and uh, I like real estate, you know, and, you know, yeah. a lot of guys always tell their w- their wives or their women, hey, you'd be good at that. And so he did that. He, he told me, you'd be good at that. And I was like, I think I might be. And so I was going to get my real estate license and kind of do that on the side while I was in IT and the dot com bubble bursted and we got mm-hmm. laid off, right. which was great. You know, it was Great an opportunity. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I was already getting my real estate license. So I went ahead and just went for it. Um, but the cool thing is I was commuting for like, you know, two hours back and forth in traffic and it was tough, tough, Where tough. Where you commuting commuting. to San Francisco? I, I was commuting to San Jose still. Oh, okay. I was working at, at that time I was working at Cisco. Gotcha. And uh, it was just, it was hard. That was just a hard life. I had bought this beautiful house I wasn't able to spend time in. Mm. I had this beautiful baby I wasn't able to spend time with. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the last day of work and I remember because it was a planned layoff the last day of work I was excited came home um, and it felt like that two hours was like 15 minutes like I was <laughs> super excited about um, just the possibilities of starting something new because I was still getting my license and and um, I gotten laid off and I was gonna we were, my husband was like okay we're gonna I'll hold it down you're gonna you know work on your business and it's just, you know we'll just we'll figure it out right. so we were okay with that and when I got home that day uh, my husband I found out that he got laid off so here we are both unemployed. Yeah. <laughs> My severance, which was only like two months. So we just had to go for it. It was like do or die. You know, we just had to go all in and, and no plan B. So that's what we did, you know, and it's been ups and downs, ebbs and flows, peaks and valleys. But I'm still here and I'm standing as wow. a result of it. So I'm excited about it. So how did you become a transformational co- coach and like through real estate like how did you evolve to all these other titles yeah so you know my journey has been very unique probably not many more unique than anybody else's you know I've I I filed bankruptcy Mm -hmm. just not even 10 years ago so I had bankrupt 379 credit score lost homes foreclosures short sales like I've been through it you know when the when the the market crashed I was right there holding the bags and my business suffered as a result of it so I've been everywhere and what I ended up doing is after, you know, my credit score was 379, I ended up a couple of years later, you know, learning about credit, helping people with their credit. Mm. And I ended up writing a bestseller about it. So my thing so is through your own personal experience, you um, educated others. Yeah. I, that's I just awesome. believe that's in, the way to do it sometimes. Yeah. I believe in using my hardships as a blueprint to help other people. And so that's kind of how I live my life. And that's kind of what it, it transitioned to is using the things that I went through. And then I wrote the other book, The Secret to Breaking the Bro Code. But that was really you know, in response to what I had been through and how I was making a lot of money now. I was mm-hmm. making over $250,000 a year yeah. when I filed bankruptcy. Mm. So, but I was also mismanaging my money and I had all of these bills and all of these expenses. And, you know, it's interesting that you brought all this up because, you know, just growing up, my mom and my parents didn't really educate me, yeah. you know, on having good credit yeah. or how to even fix your credit. Like I still have friends that ask me that question or, you know, the conversation comes up like, how do you fix your credit? How do you manage your money? And all those things are like so important. So for the the young ones, like watching, like educate yourself, you know, yeah. and like follow Constance because she just Man. might be able to help you. Because it, yeah, it should be in the schools. You know, this it is really stuff that should, should be, be in the they schools. They need to like redo the whole program. Absolutely, in these days. absolutely. I because mean, you go to college, you and you know, obviously, you're you're in debt as yeah. you graduate because uh-huh. you got to pay all that Huge. back. They're like. You know, how how do you pay this off besides just getting a nine to five job? Yeah. You know, there's other ways and other things that I think we need to be educating the youth. Absolutely. And that's why people like you are so important, I think, because I'm even sometimes wanting to speak to like a, a person that can help me just better my credit score yeah, or credit. Just 
maybe some I don't know something that you could teach me or someone yeah. could teach me. Yeah. So those are important things. That's Absolutely. awesome. Yeah. That's a good story. Thank you. What is a wealth guru? Explain that to Ooh, me. Oh, a wealth guru. I'm a, I'm a, I call myself a wealth activist. Okay. So, you know, I, I, my goal. So amongst all those titles, I yeah. think that's the most important one mm -hmm. because really my goal is to really help to, to spread the, the good news about wealth to everyone from all walks of life. I'm in real estate and 90% um, of wealth in this country is built through real estate. Right. So 90 percent of the wealth in this country is built through real estate. I want you guys to get this. 90 percent of this wealth, the wealth of this country has been built through real estate. And a lot of people, especially minorities, have been left out of the wealth building mm -hmm. process because of things like redlining when they didn't allow minorities to buy certain homes. You have um, fi uh, finance, you know, financing, predatory lending that a lot of those yeah. things that happen. And so you have a, a huge wealth gap. Um, you know, the, the black and Hispanic households are between 2000. Our net worth is like 2000 to 5000 as opposed to white our white counterparts. Right. right. Theirs is over one hundred thousand dollars. And so my goal is to really educate everyone so that we can all be on the same playing field. Now, I own the largest African-American owned real estate firm in California. That's it's awesome. African-American owned because I own it, but it's not African-American only. Right. We have right. everybody from all walks of life. Mm -hmm. And so our goal is to just level the playing field for everybody. Let, make it a possibility for everybody. Exactly. Yeah. We need to see more of that. Yeah. We yeah, really do. Yeah. That's so cool. Thank you. How would you explain facing your fears to our youth? Ooh. And I know you 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 wrote it as F E A R S. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now that's an acronym that I use a lot because I think it's important in this in your journey of of trying to be motivated or or just success in general like you have mm -hmm. to go through certain things. Like every person who's been successful in some type of way has gone through certain things. Like yeah. I had to decide on sometimes whether I was going to pay the lease to my building or my mortgage. Oh, wow. And making those decisions are super hard. And wow. I had to say, you know what? I'm a bet on me. Thank God. And, you know, that situation, I didn't foreclose on that house. But I had to say, I, I know this is going to take me a lot further. So I need to just make sure that I can maintain this. So F in fears is failure. You're going to fail. I failed. I filed yeah. bankruptcy. You know, I had a 379 credit score. All of those things were paramount to my success because, again, I use my my hardships as, as a blueprint to help other people. E, you may have to be embarrassed. Like a lot of times, yeah. you know, when you, we're going out there and we're putting ourselves on the line, things happen. We get knocked down. And if you're not willing to be embarrassed for it, then you don't want it bad enough. You right. know, A, you have to be willing to go all in. No mm -hmm. plan Bs. Whatever your dreams are. Yeah all in like it's like the last thing in the world right like there's nothing else that and that's how I looked at it when I came home and and my husband said I got laid off it was like uh, you know our plan a kind of got switched up but it's still all in that's still our you know I'm, right. I'm not gonna stop ours you got to be willing to take a risk no risk no reward you know everything is a risk every you know every relationship every, yeah, decision, every decision is a yeah. risk and so a lot of times people are afraid to walk through those doors because they're afraid to take that risk. But what if you walk through the door and, you know, everything you needed was on the other side of it, but people get paralyzed in that fear yeah. and they don't want to do it. So that risk is, is an important factor. So that fear factor, if you want to be highly successful, you have to be willing to go through that fear. That is so true. That's a good one. I like that. Thank you. So what are some tips that you would give aspiring investors? Like if there's somebody watching right now Ooh. and they wanted to get started, like yeah. even myself, how would you, what tip would you give me like to get started? Would you say start in, in buying a house or mm -hmm. how does one start being an investor or investing? So many different ways. So there's very, very simple ways. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you a story about my kids. So okay. my, so my, my kids, um, I bought them this, this stock program, Dr. Boyce Watkins, shout out to Dr. Boyce Watkins. He's dope. He's one of my friends, but he's a he's a he also has a podcast and he's a social economic economicist. But he has this this uh, stock program uh, for youth. So I had all my kids do it. Right. Well, this is what I told him. I said, listen, you guys finish this thing and I'm going to give you a thousand dollars a piece so that you guys can start investing. And my daughter at the time, she was like 16, 17. She's like 20 now. She's like, ah, I'm ain't snapchat i ain't trying to do it right so yeah. she ain't she ain't had time for it and my other two so i have four kids um the other one was you know he was too young he was like nine another one was 11 so my 13 year old he actually looked at the program and i gave him a thousand dollars to start investing and i asked him a bunch of questions what's liquidity what's this what's this and he got it so then he started investing and that thousand dollars he turned it into eight thousand dollars Right. Because it, everything is on the Internet. You can research everything. Right. I'd call it GTS. Google that shit. Like you can get everything on yeah, the really Internet. Can. Right. Every, you, Google University. You can learn anything you want to. So the first steps I would say is like get an Acorns account. 
Have you heard of Acorns? Yeah, I've heard of Acorns. Acorns, simple, very easy. It takes your money out of your account every time you spend. It takes money out of your account and it puts it in another account for you and it starts investing for you. That way you don't even have to invest. So Acorns mm-hmm. is great. I started Acorns about two years ago and I saved $40,000. And what wow. did I do with that $40,000? I'm an investor in a marijuana dispensary also. So I, I saw took, that. I took my weed money and I took my Acorns money and I bought this building in Sacramento. Right. right. So as, just, as it builds and accumulates, right. you're investing in your next project. Absolutely. That's how Absolutely. you do it. So little things like that. Also, yeah, Robinhood is a, an app that you can very easy to start investing. You can buy shares of stock at five dollars, ten dollars or whatever. Uh, one of my agents, Ariane, she's beautiful, 23 year old, but she's just always has her ear to the ground. And she goes, hey, PG&E is normally at forty dollars. It's like at four dollars a share right now. Should we buy it? I'm like, heck, yeah. So we bought it a few because, weeks ago. Yeah, they're having you know, yeah, some controversy a, right now. Yeah. But hey, you never know. They'll right. fix that and go back up. Boom. <laughs> exactly, so they bought eight, I the bought eight hundred shares. Down, yeah. yeah. And like Warren Buffett says, you, you buy when everybody else is selling. You don't buy when everybody's buying. You buy when people are selling, when stuff goes down yeah don't get scared that's when you buy some good tips right there i like that i like that this is good (laughs) i'm gonna definitely write that down once i get off okay so um tell me as a woman how did you keep moving forward after being set back or being told your ideas want to work oh you know as a woman of color it is so important that we run faster jump higher Mm -hmm. work harder just to be in the game right and um as a woman of color like having a real estate company where you have you know your 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 competition don't look anything like you Mm -hmm. and so um i knew that i had to just make sure that my game was up leveled i had to make sure that my service was better than everybody's i had to make sure that when you walk in my business like you see excellence you know and not just on a at a certain standard like i i I believe in having a business not a business right so Mm -hmm. i want to you know making sure that you know your 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 stuff is up to par and um you know people will tell you things all the time when i when i uh before i started my business somebody that i really respect they told me, and I was telling them because I, I was supposed to start a year earlier, and um, I was telling them, man, I should have started when I was going to start because this other guy, he started, and he's doing really good. And this person told me, he said, you ain't going to be as successful as this guy because you black and you a woman, wow. and he's white and he's a man. And, of course, you know, I was like, well, damn, is, am I in the color purple? Like, what the hell? <laughs> right? Did we just go back to 1935? What is going on? It's but that people even would still say that, Yeah, right? and, yeah. That, and, and that wasn't what they thought of me, but that was their own limiting beliefs mm-hmm. about how they That's felt, true. right? Their so, own limiting beliefs. Yeah. And they, they weren't mine. But I came out and I killed it. I crushed it. Like, we were top five within the first year. And so, you know, you can't allow other people to put their limitations on you. You got to just do it anyway in spite of whatever you know if nobody's ever walked through that door that looks like you walk through it anyway Mm -hmm. because there's something on the other side for you yeah absolutely what do you think about when you hear black history month oh i need i think it needs to be a little bit longer but it's cool because my birthday is this month too (laughs) they took they picked the shortest month no but no um you know i think it's really a time to really celebrate people um, who've really made contributions in this country. And, mm-hmm. you know, for so many times and for so often, we go unnoticed. There's yeah. a lot of people who've, who've done a lot of things. A lot. That we have no idea about because other people have taken credit for it or they just haven't been given their proper due. And so I think it's a, it's, it's a great time to really recognize those people. But I think the, the people who really need to be recognized are the people who nobody knows. We know about Martin Luther King. We know about Rosa Parks. That's a good point. Let's talk about Celebrate the people Celebrate the know. people that... Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's it's the same people every year. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk no about civil rights. like, and that's why I wanted to do this to celebrate women of color on Black History Month because, like, a lot of you know some of you ladies that I've interviewed, you guys are doing amazing things, and I'm like, this is a great platform to just promote them more and people yeah. learn more about them because yeah. there's so many people out there, it's really dope people that yes, yeah. that could really inspire others and teach others, and you can learn from. But it's true. It's like the same people every year. You know, about Martin Luther King. Good point. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that is a good point. Yeah, and that's okay, you know, because we're inspired by those people. But absolutely. There's so so many. many more. Yeah. Yeah, unsung heroes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, black history, you know, has brought up a lot of powerful, strong, and brave women. If you had the chance to be given advice from any of these women, who would it be and what would you ask them? 
Oh, 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 that's a good one. Let's see. I would probably, okay, I know it's cliche, but I would probably say Oprah because Oprah is a mogul. Yeah. And, you know. I love Oprah. I love Oprah, too. A lot of people say, you know, I just want to be next to Oprah. No, I want to be Oprah. You know what I mean? I don't want to just be next to Oprah. I want to, you know. So, yeah, so I want to have a conversation. Yeah, I want to be Gail. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. I need to have I, yeah. Oprah money. So I would say, like, what are some what are some things that um, what are some pitfalls that that you think have made you be the person that you are? Because I believe that your pitfalls and everything that you go through makes you stronger. So what are some of the things that you had to some challenges you had to overcome yeah. that really propelled you to where you are in your greatness? Mm -hmm. You know, just kind of seeing where that is. I love that. And what advice would you want to give all women um, before you leave today? I say just keep going. A lot of times, you know, again, we get paralyzed in where we are in our fears. And, you know, I, I'm from San Jose like you. Mm -hmm. um, I have came from very humble beginnings. Yeah. Um, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I was homeless at one time. I, you know, been bankrupt. I've been all of those things. But I just say, listen, just the possibilities are endless. And if I could have any amount of success, I know yeah. that it's possible for everybody because I ain't the smartest tool in the show. I just happen to surround myself around people who are super smart mm -hmm. and that believe in me. And I, I would and that's say that's definitely that, another secret right there. That's, yeah. that's, that's uh, a good tip and advice. Surround your, it's so important. Like as you grow older, you realize how more important that is. So start now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our young people need to start now surrounding Birds themselves. Birds of a feather flock yes. together. Absolutely. Who Absolutely. you are around says who you are. How can people follow you on social media, keep up with you Ooh. and all the amazing things you're doing? Yes. So listen, a couple of things. I'm having a uh, the We Summit, the Wealth Empowerment Summit in okay. San Jose. Okay. Um, that's on 4-4-2020. Fo fo 2020. <laughs> We're going to have people like Ray J is going to be there. Oh, nice. Super cool. Um, Dr. Boyce Watkins um, and a host of thought leaders from all over the country are going to descend at the Cuba Center, in, which is a new um, co-working space okay. in San Jose. And oh, I'm cool. super excited about that. Actually, I just added uh, Trinity Stokes. I don't know if you know her. She's Judy from um, some Disney show. Oh, okay. And she's also on Mixedish. She's one of the girls on Mixedish, but she's she's going to be. We're going to have a youth component too. So okay. bring your young people out. Very nice. Um, but it's going to be amazing. So uh, we have that. But to, to follow me on social media, nobody works harder than Constance Carter. Nobody works harder. That's my Facebook, and on Instagram is Ask Constance C. There That's it constancy. is. I love this. Thank you so much for the Thank great conversation and for awesome. coming by. And amazing. Yes, keep doing your thing. I'm so inspired by you and your Thank story. You. I mean, I'm serious. If you guys need help, you know, wealth guru here, she can help you with your credit. It's I possible. mean, just help you with learning about investment and all that stuff. Definitely keep in touch with her. Constance Carters, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you. Thank you, Mia. I appreciate it. Absolutely. All right.